P5 is really good at drawing in the HTML5 canvas. So today we're going to be looking at the different techniques using the vertex functions, or vertex family of functions in P5 to draw and specifically to trace an image. So um, for our example today, we're going to be tracing Maggie. Um, and I'll, I'll add this, um, a link to this basic sketch that just loads an image and I'll have more comments in here when I upload that. It loads an image and it's uh, getting ready to help you trace the outline of that image. So we um, are going to draw our image um, to the screen and we're going to be logging um, to the console our mouse positions so we can define the shape as we go. And I've started out with just a begin shape, end shape. So specifically, we're going to be using the quadratic vertex today because this is the most similar to Adobe Illustrator um, where we have our two anchor points here or as many anchor points as we want and a control point which is like the handle in Illustrator that deforms that straight line into a curve. So starting out I'll just run the sketch and I'm going to start with somewhere in the hair. So I'm going to start right here and I can see that that point is at 104, 114. My X position is 104 and my Y position is roughly 114. Let's see if we're right on. Well, we'll say 105, 114. So in between begin shape and end shape, I'm gonna start with a regular old vertex. And it was 105, 114, I think it was. Let's double check that. 105, 114. And so that is good. And now we're going to go to our next point and this one, we're gonna go back to the reference in a second, but this one, we're gonna say it is at 133 for our X coordinate and 102 for our Y coordinate. So we're just gonna type in uh, quadratic vertex, and I've already forgotten what that coordinate was, but it was 132, 10, we'll say 133, no, 132, 101. And I'm just gonna put that in here for now. Because that's our, that's our coordinate, but there's more um, parameters for quadratic vertex. So let's go here and look at what they are. So we'll scroll down. And um, because we're just working in a two-dimensional plane, we're just gonna look at this two-dimensional one. So we have as our first two parameters, the X and Y coordinate for the control point and the second set of parameters are the X and Y coordinate for the anchor point. So this point here where we want our line to go through, that's the anchor point. Our control point is gonna deform this straight line to pull it into a curve. So just to look at that, let's actually turn this into a vertex and let's run the code. And so you see we have a straight line. That first point looks a little off. So actually I'm gonna move that to 10, for 112. So it's always good to go through this process and just make sure everything looks good. Uh, I think I liked 10, oh, 104. There we go, that looks better. And so I could go through and I could find all of my points here. So let's just do another one. This next point is gonna be roughly 131, 56, 131, 56. And if it's not clear, I'm looking down here at the console. And so if we run that, we should see our next spike in Maggie's hair. We can just get a couple more in here. This one is obscured, so I would have to make this bow element separately later on in my code. So right here, this looks like the, we'll be right about here. So 169, 65. So we'll just add that in, 169, 65. All right, and so now we have a few points. So now we can start deforming these straight lines into curves. So if I look at this curve, I just need to pull it a little bit up and maybe a little bit off center. So I'm gonna guess that my control point is gonna be right about here, just a little bit off from that straight line because it's not extremely curved. It's just a slight bow to this hair point. So I'm going to say 113, 104. 
So I'm just gonna add that in. Uh, oh, sorry, actually, that would be for my second point because we have to start quadratic vertex um, using our, we have to start with a standard vertex when we're making a shape. Um, and then our subsequent points can be using quadratic vertex. So our second, our first control point, I think I said it would be about here-ish. We'll say 113, 101. 113, 101. And I'm gonna change this to a quadratic vertex. And let's see how we did. Hey, that looks pretty good to me. I think I could come down one pixel. It looks like I am a little bit bulbous there. So if I wanna come down one pixel, I'm gonna increase my Y control point coordinate by one. And there we go, that looks great. For this one, because the curve is a little bit weighted towards the point, I'm gonna say that my control point is right about here. At 125.73, 125.73. And I'll change this to a quadratic vertex. And let's see if I'm right. Hey, that looks pretty good. And here, this one's more centralized. So I'm gonna say right about here. Just pulling it ever so slightly out of straight, 148.55. One, four, eight. Oh my, 148. 55, did I say 55? Yes. And change it into a quadratic vertex so I can just take that there. Oh, I think I messed something up. Oh, I forgot a comma. That looks pretty good to me. And so I can continue on this process. So here, this I believe is gonna be one, 9318, and so I'm just gonna copy this here, and I'll just get myself a blank uh, function here so I can keep copying new ones in. So 19320, I think, 19320, and I'm gonna guess that my control point is gonna be about here, just following suit from my previous point, so 18032, 80, 32, comma, and let's see if that one worked. Not too bad. And I'll just continue going until I've traced my entire shape. And so you can include multiple different types of these <clears throat> different means of creating vertices in a shape using begin shape but remember, with curved vertex, which we've talked about in class, the, um, there is some redundancy at the beginning and end. I'll, I'll um, include a link here, or I'll include a link to this main reference uh, section, as well as a link to uh, some of these other functions in the description of this video. But we have to remember that um, with curved vertex, um, the, there are primary and um, ending points that are used as control points to tell how these first sections of curve are formed. Um, but I've found that quadratic vertex is a little bit uh, more understandable if you're familiar with how Illustrator makes curves. So, um, I think I will stop there, but maybe I'll include a link to a sketch that has a fully made Maggie using these techniques. All right, good luck and happy tracing.